history for a unique man, a unique manager that has won nine All Irelands. No other uh, GA manager has ever won a, that. But uh, as well as that, a unique team. You know, that's, that's built. He built two teams really. He had a team up to 2006, yep. and he took a new team from 2006 mm. until now. Mm. And and still, the only danger to them is a bit of complacency. If you can get them in a complacent day, you have a chance. But when they are on, on fire, when they have that fire on the belly that they had today, you just cannot stop them. No fault to Galway. They targeted the weak areas in Galway today. They took advantage of them. Game over. We talk about what Kenny have won. We've talked about the All Ireland medals that Henry Shefton have won. As though this is something sort of that there's a kind of a wrap around. <laughs> Not necessarily so, as they say. No, but like, like you'd be hoping now that Brian Cody maybe would take time out, maybe to be cutting the, cut the lawn or maybe take up a bit of golf or maybe train Kenny footballers for a change or something like that. Because, I mean, this is never ending stuff. Look, and we, we have to say, maybe they're probably hated around the country at this stage. Maybe the people despise them now because they're winning too much. But look, you've got to take your hat off. I mean, they're, they're just unbelievable. And we go back to the, mat, the last match, the first day, right? You're talking about Henry Shefflin. Henry Shefflin was the man that kept them in the game to get them to, 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 to where yes. they are today. And it's just fitting that he does get his ninth medal. He's a gentleman on the field, he's a gentleman off the field, and he is a great ambassador for hurling throughout Kilkenny, but throughout Ireland as well, you know? But Which, it, it, do, it doesn't come from him alone. No. I mean, you take their defenders today. We said before the match, we'd have got man marking. They stayed in their positions today, and they said to Galway, if you want to come at us, yeah. or you want to move away from us, somebody else will pick you up. And to a man, they were fantastic. I thought the newcomers, Kieran Joyce, in there had an, an outstanding game. Jackie Turrell, as usual, the Brian Hogan's of this world, Tommy Walsh. But a master stroke at the end of the day. I mean, I said that on Saturday that Walsh would make the difference. I didn't realise that would be Wally Walsh would make the difference. Walter yeah. Walsh. I mean, to score one three, it's a master stroke to play him. Not everybody's entirely happy with Kilkenny's victory, by the way, Liam. <laughs> no, but at the same time, you know, you can say there that uh, you can say there, you know, that they're, that they're not liked by the people, but they might be envied by a lot. And, 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 and a lot of people, a, a lot, a lot of people want to, mm. to, see, to see a new, a, a new yeah. name on the cup. Yeah. But they're admired by everybody. Oh, that's that's my point. You have to admire them. You have to admire them, you know, for, for what uh, they've done, you well, know. For I mean. what they've done. And it's up to everybody else to come up to that standard. It's great to have a team that's raising the bar the whole time, to, you know, to, 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 that's bringing, bringing the standard of the game forward. And it's up to everybody else to come up to that standard. Don't expect them to come back yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. They won't. You must come up to that standard. So the yeah. bar has been raised for everybody else. And what I really like about them is they keep things so simple. That you, you know, you don't hear anything about psychologists or anything about, even though they might be doing it all behind the scenes. You know, Brian Cole will come out and say, it's a simple game, you get the ball, get possession, you move it on. But that philosophy, you know, that old style philosophy that he has, look at the, way, look but, the dividends but, but, it has paid over the last 12 or 13 years. But there was, a, there, was a sta there was a stage during the second half today, right, though, there was a, a major turning point, right? Oh, okay? there was. You had the setting off the Sir Darlin thing, but you had the goal that was disallowed for Sir yeah, Darlin yeah. as well, right? Yeah. And it would be interesting to see the referee's position on that. Did he blow for the free, free on Damien Hayes? Or he had certainly had his hand in the air, or was he put it saying, giving them the advantage, right? And after that, Joe Canning hits the post here, right? One of those being allowed certainly could have changed it, right? Because oh, it was a, a crucial yeah, stage but you have at a that point, point. You have you know? a point. From the 44th yeah. to the 48th minutes, mm -hmm. they, they, you know, there were three points in it at that stage, got yes. it all the way back. Mm -hmm. Now, to have any chance, we're not going yep. to say they're going to win No, this. not to, to go to win it, chance, but have a chance. Daniel's goal had to be allowed. Mm -hmm. Joe would have to have scored the goal that hit the post right after, then Daniel had been sent off, and straight away after Daniel had been sent off, Richie Paul scores a point. That's right. They were still, over they were, yeah. they were still hanging off the scraps though, because the reality is, Kenny scored 12 points in play in the yeah. forward line. Well, there was five, five of the six Galway yeah. forwards. Oh, ab failed to yeah. Oh, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? mean? So like, they, yeah. they were just literally yeah. hanging yeah. on there, and they would have needed a goal yeah. or two, yeah. just, mm. just because really they were hanging on in the fourth But that was just to give them a sniff at that period. Because right throughout the field, the intensity was being driven by one team today. We've seen Richie Hogan hooking, we've seen him, and in to Galway, the it's, the first, it's the first time this year that Galway played Kilkenny and they failed to match him for intensity. The Leinster final, I think Galway, Galway beat him for intensity. The All Ireland uh, final, the first day, they matched him for intensity. But in fairness, today it was Kilkenny's day. But Galway had a huge year. I think Anthony mm. Cumming, Cunningham and his backroom team have done a superb job mm. with Galway. They mm. brought him from, you know, you know. Let's yeah, be honest yeah, yeah. about they were they were well outside. The, you know, they might have been view, viewed the top four at the start of the year. And all of a sudden, they found themselves within a puck of a ball, a winning the Ireland final on the first Sunday in September. But you see yeah. what they did out today, like you know, the central of the Galba defence, we all knew was a bit weak. Had to do with Richie, Pow or Richie Hogan inside full forward and Kevin Hines. <laughs> Kevin not used to playing for. He absolutely went to town. Yeah. Rich, uh, our, 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 our Henry Sheffield, Henry I mean, Sheffield, Sheffield centre forward goes on. We just start them again. And, and then the two midfielders, yeah. McFinley and 
Killian Bokti, who had a terrific game, mm. they cleaned out. Mm. So the Galway's, Galway's strong points for the, from, from the uh, strong areas from the, from the last day were immediately attacked, negated, and from then on, they, they We they have spoken so much about uh, the Kilkenny manager, Brian Cody, but let's hear from him now. <coughs> He's talking to Claire McNamara. Brian, it certainly was a third time looking against Galway and quite some comprehensive style. Uh, ah, yeah, it was a great performance, I think, by the players, you know. Obviously, we didn't enjoy a great start the last day and in the Leinster final as well, but, you know, we got a good start and I suppose we were rocked back by two goals, but our reply straight away was outstanding, you know, and you know, I think the, the way we just played was, was excellent, you know, I couldn't have hoped for any better. I mean, we were put to the pin of our collar for right up to half time and beyond, but the response at all time was there and we just kept going and we kept pulling away and it was really outstanding stuff, I think. It certainly was, despite all of your success, hunger and determination was so clear to see today, there was no way you were falling behind. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no way we could be out here if, there, if our hunger or determination was in any way diluted at all. And if that goes, everything goes, you know, so that's there in abundance, you know, that's tribute to everybody involved, obviously. And, you know, we needed it, but it was there and it was there so, so, in so many ways it was there, like, you know, right throughout the field. And, you know, certain players, I suppose, um, felt they hadn't performed as well as they could the last day, but the, the result of that was then within those players was so strong. And I mean, as well, I mean, we, we've almost had a game won the last day as well. It was like as if we hadn't performed at all the last day, uh, but in actual fact, we had, and, you know, they equalised the last pocket of the game. So it was just a question of getting back here and just getting into it early, and thanks be to God we did. And you made changes bringing in Walter Walsh and Killian Buckley. Walter Walsh, what a debut. Yeah, well, I mean, you do what you think is the right thing to do, you know, and, I mean, if you're afraid to do that, you shouldn't be doing out there, you know, so Walter's farm has been serious in training, and um, it was, you know, it might be seen as a big call, but, I mean, if this was the first round of the Leinster Challenge, there'd be no talk about it, because everybody makes his debut somewhere. Some people start in the Welsh Cup, Walter decided to start in the Allard in the final, so fair play to him. Now, I know you say usually you're not a stats man or a man for the records, but you've guided Kilkenny now to nine All-Ireland titles, which is quite incredible. Yeah, I suppose it's it's hard to imagine that like those all those things have happened for us, you know. But I mean, I've been part of a terrific setup for for those victories, you know. And you know, that's all I'm doing. I'm doing my job. Everybody else is doing his job. I get a lot of attention because I'm the manager. But so much goes into it from so many people. And if there was one weak link in the whole chain, we would be in trouble, be it off the field or on the field. And thanks be to God, that setup is outstanding. And Henry Shefflin, another man with nine, who's been with you every step of the way. Well, you know, today has set him apart, obviously, as a, as a hurler. You know, to win nine All-Irelands in the field of play is something that has never been done before. Um, you know, I think he done it today as well. He didn't win them all in the field, but thanks be to God, he, he finished it on the field again today. But Henry's achievement has been absolutely amazing when you consider he came back from two cruciate operations and a shoulder operation that started this year. Would have broken most people at his age. You'll be happy to say, look, I had a good innings, but... He's, he was just so determined to get back and you know, everybody realises what he did the last day for us here. But I mean, he's been doing this so often and again, he's out, work, he's out performance. But his work rate is just immense, you know, and he leads by example and he's the reason why so many young players want to come in and play with Kilkenny. So it's chasing the 10th now, Brian, is it? Well, I'm sure Henry will be thinking like that anyway, that's for sure. And, um, you know, the things, yeah, we celebrate this, we should celebrate it, and we we'll see where we go then after that. But, I mean, for the players, it's their determination to keep going has to be has to be there. I'm sure it will be. Congratulations, Brian. Well done. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, the uh, little logo behind Brian Cody there said, nothing beats being here. <laughs> and that's the truth, Liam Sheedy, certainly for Kilkenny supporters anyway, this past decade. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's been an amazing roller coaster ride for him right throughout, you know. But, uh, you know, he deserves some credit. You know, I mean, the amount of players he's put through his hands, all high performing players, all wanting to play. You know, and like, you know, he, he left off Aidan Fogarty and Colin Finley today, mm, which, mm. you know, in some dressing rooms, that could cause a big deal. And yeah. No mm. problem. You know, there was comments made, you know, after the last match about unsportsman, like, well, no problem. You know, I've taken out of context. They, yeah. all, uh, taken out of context. Yeah. All they do is play. Absolutely. And, like, they turned up today again, yeah. and he said, well, we didn't start. We wanted to start. But, by God, we, we go out and we want to play well. And I just think he's, what he's done uh, with that group of players, and he, the way he has them fresh and hungry every time they come to play, he deserves huge credit. Claire prompted the question to him there, Ger. Mm. Uh, you know, it could be 10 all Ireland's next year if they go for it. He didn't say he would, and he didn't say he wouldn't. Well, you know, he has an insatiable uh, appetite for hurling. You know, if he's not with Kilkenny next year, he'll be with an under-14 team, or under-12, or an under-18, or something like that. Hurling, hurling is such a massive yep. part of his mm -hmm. life, you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, the great, you know, there are so many great things about him, like, but 
he's so consistent in the way he behaves himself. You know, the way he carries himself off the field, on the field. He gets an art, involved in the, in the arts great. Mm. With mm. everything who doesn't? And, uh, who, who doesn't? doesn't? Exactly. <laughs> but but I, two guys and I have no idea. Yeah, exactly. We all got by the straight. But uh, what, 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 what I, uh, you know, uh, the first time I met Brian, uh, Brian Cody, what really impressed me was the belief he has in Kilkenny Kinkili Hor uh, yes. Horlers. He has always said there are always plenty of good Horlers in Kilkenny. He has never deviated from that. And once they come into him on their Kilkenny team, there's a way from them for them to train. There's a way for them to behave on the field. There's a way for them to behave off the field. Mm. So he has set that he, he has set that template for every Kilkenny player coming in, how to play, how to behave. And he has remained totally consistent himself. Mm. So that everybody coming in, they want to be part of it. They, and results have come as, as a result of that. But long term, long term. His legacy to Kilkenny is absolutely massive. I mean and the, you, you the, just the, can't the, the, the master stroke measure. today. The master stroke today was starting Walter Watch. Mm. Yes. Right? Yeah, I yeah. mean he's come out of the blue. I believe in training between be, behind closed doors, he was giving Jackie Turl his belly full of it. Mm. Now if you're mm. giving Jackie Turl his mm. belly full, you you right. must you it, you must be on your game at that stage, right? And to put him in there on Johnny Cohn, who is probably Galway's best defender but for the summer. We said before the but game. You why said he before did that. Why, why he did that, right? Because, and it was Dwin. Yeah. Get yeah. up there, catch ball, yeah. win it, lay win it off, your ball. Yeah. and get your scores as well yeah. yourself. It, it was a master stroke, master mm. stroke. OK, much uh, more analysis and reaction to come, but uh, don't go away. We'll be uh, right back after this short break. Kilkenny are the All-Ireland Hurling Champions of 2012 after defeating Galway on a scoreline of 3 goals and 22 points to 3 goals and 11 points. Lee Mishidi, they played so well, Kilkenny, in that second half. Scored some great points from play. But the two goals they got in the second half, they, that really had Galway rocking. Yeah, it did. You know, I mean, they, they, they got the goal in the first half, but the two goals in the second half were huge scores. You know, and thought they used the ball very well in all instances, you know. And, you know, crossfield ball again, Richie Ogden over and look <coughs> TJ Reid, he's actually picking the ball on the run. You know, he probably did carry it a long ways, but he got a, got a, a great save by, by Young Flannery, who just came into the goals. But, you know, Walter Walsh waiting for the break there. And, like, he had a bit of work to do, similar a little bit to the goal he got in the semi, or to the goal he got in the semi final himself. But when he got in, good shot. But in fairness, it was a good, it was a good save uh, by Fergal Flannery. But Walter Walsh, I mean, tapping off, it ended <coughs> up being 1 3 for him. Mm, you know, mm. I mean, what a, what, what a mm. score for him. Um, and, and as Ger said, you know, mm. lean on Johnny Cohen. He was just knocking around that square mm. all day. And you know, he's a bit unorthodox, but by God, he knows where the goals is. And likewise, you know, Killian Buckley, I thought, who was very, very good today, played very well. And you know, the long ball, you know, we all know they're well able to contest their own high ball. But, and it's a scrappy sort of a goal, and Colin Finley just gets a swing to it. Yeah. And it's in the back of the net, you know. But all the time when the ball was in around her, I thought wherever the ball was with the, Kil the Kilkenny full forward line were the first line of defence today. Every time the ball went in, Walter Walsh, Richie Hogan, they just didn't want the ball to come out. They were willing to fight in their backs to not to let that ball out. And when it was in around the square, they got they, they had they got the goals that were vital and as I said they were two huge scores in that second half. That second goal going in off a goal with defender obviously Jared, there's no doubt that Kenny was the better team today and deserved this all Ireland. That's beyond question. But sometimes the little things go against you in a game that that kind of knock whatever chance you might have. Galway had two possible goals in that second half. One was the free that was called back. Yes. But in fairness, we were watching the referee mm. very carefully and he had signaled a long time yeah. before the ball was put in the net. The ball comes down here, I think it's Damien Hayes got it.